Hi everybody, my name is Adam. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to use the select subject uh, quick action within Gemstone. So this is going to be focusing on how to take a person out of your image and isolate them from the background. And we're gonna showcase the best ways to do this and how to get the most out of the select subject tool. Gemstone opens up into something called the home screen. I'm going to select two previously opened projects. But for most of you, just click Browse and open up a couple images that you want to work with. Let's show off the Select Subject feature. Select Subject is a super fast way to isolate people in your images. From there, we can mask or even add adjustment layers. I'm going to give you two different examples. One is where the Select Subject worked really well, and one where it needs a bit of cleaning up. So. I'll navigate to select subject in my first image here from the quick actions button. You'll notice that select subject does a pretty amazing job here, especially with her hair. Part of the reason for the tool's success is that the background is not the central point of focus. Now that my subject is selected, I can use the mask button. Masking will separate her from the background. I could have also used remove background to get the same effect. Notice the mask thumbnail next to my image. Notice that the figure is represented by white and the background is represented by black. Masking doesn't erase elements, rather it turns them on or off temporarily. Let's add a new background. I'll click the add a new file as a layer button and search for a new layer. I'll select this street image. It would make sense to blur the background in this image as to mimic the circumstances of the original. Lastly, I'll just add a little photo effect to sort of homogenize the appearance of the two images. Here, I've applied a Riley photo effect with a massively reduced opacity. Now, let's have a look at our second image. So we need to run a select subject quick action again. With the selection complete, let's just create a mask real quick. I'm going to add a blank layer and fill it with any color. I'll make sure to place the layer below my subject. As you can see, there are some issues. One of the easier to deal with is the green outline that appears near her hairline. Let's make a new subject selection by deleting my mask. This time, we'll use something called Refine Edge. Refine Edge allows us to slightly remove the periphery of the selection. This will help reduce the green around her hair. Uh, a setting of negative seven should suffice. Now we can mask once again. The hair is so much cleaner, the only thing we need to do now is brush on some of the areas that the subject selection missed. So what I can do is I can take out my brush and set the foreground color to white. White will turn on an area of our mask whereas black will turn off an area of our mask. If you are uncertain of where an edge is, what you can do is click on the mask and disable it temporarily. This allows you to see the edges so you can infer where to brush on and off using the white and black brushes respectively. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon, and most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you would like me to cover next. Take care.